Hey guys, it's Daphne, and we're working on page seven. Page seven of Underwater Love and a Child Bella collection. And I'm using this eight by eight, and I split it right there at his boot. And I'll tell you what that is. It is three. I wound up trimming this at three and three eighths, three and three eighths in from this from this side. And I'm making that a pocket. So my pocket is four inches by nine, four by nine, and it has um, uh, three score lines. So you're gonna turn that into a pocket. Whoops, I couldn't get a hold of that. And we're gonna install this on the right-hand side of page seven. Now we're going to add this here, and then this is going to be the pocket liner, and then I've also um, made, or haven't made it yet, but we're also gonna have a bifold uh, large insert. just ever so slightly into the pocket. Just a little. Okay, there we go. See his boot there? Okay, now let's set this aside, and this is going to be our insert. So you're going to start with a seven and a half by seven. So it's seven and a half inches wide, or actually it's seven and a half inches tall, and seven inches wide. You're going to score a half inch on the seven and a half inch side. Then you're just going to cut a six by seven panel that's going to lay right on top of that. So there's going to be a gap here at the bottom. This is from the eight by eight collection and it's what I'm going to use on top here. Oops, I just remembered I need to, to do my corners real quick. Yes, all four. By the way, what I'm using, I normally use the We Are Memory Corner Chomper, um, but I just got this and was trying it. It's a really good punch. Um, I like it. The drawback is it's considerably smaller than the stub of the um, chompers. So I like the, the size of the cut in on the chompers more, but I wanted to buy this and give it a try. And I, I do recommend it, it's a good punch, but I'm probably gonna go back to the chomper just cause it doesn't go deep enough for me. I think if you're doing a small scale project, it'll be fine. The quality is good. And it feels easier to me to use with my bad joints than the other one. So whatever issues I have with my hand, they seem to be less affected by that than the chomper. It's just a, the chomper's an odd, to me it feels odd to grip. Okay, so we have that installed and then we're going to put, this is a piece of scrap I had and it's two inches and I'm gonna put it across the bottom. So I think that looks nice. And it, then when you pull it out, it's very obvious that it's a bifold. So that's gonna go right inside this pocket. 
and it was designed to cover up that main image rather than having a part of it peeking out, which would look odd. So it's seven inches covers the bulk of the design that's there. So that was on purpose. And then when you pull it out, you get this beautiful display, but then you also have all this photo space. So I'm gonna find a couple of pieces of paper to finish this lining and I'll be right back. Hey, I'm sorry I forgot to hit the record button. So I've added this piece to the top. Uh, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. This is from the eight by eight collection pack. I'm gonna add it here and then I'm gonna put some more blue fish down here, just to break it up a little. I have enough of this to go straight across, but I think I wanna do this. And I didn't trim it, so I'm gonna set that aside. And let's see. This goes vertical. Is this going to be a You know what? I'm not gonna wait for that to dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down. And we're not gonna have color block. We're no we're nowhere near out of paper, so you could do either one. So now I need to, to trim it to fit. where I need to mark it and test it. A little bit more. Yeah, that looks right. I'm gonna do my corners real quick. Add a little ink. And there is our large bifold that's going to go inside here, just like so. I think that turned out nicely. Mm -hmm. So that, I forget now, I think it's page seven. Yeah, it's page seven. So we're almost done. I'll be back soon with page eight. <laughs> 